Well, good morning, everyone. I'm feeling somewhat better today. I actually got up at about five, so that'd been four by the old time, because our just our time just sprung forward. So actually, um, it would have been about four, but so I got up, made my coffee, and it's really, really wet. I mean. You can't walk on the, you can't walk on the ground without smushing water up. And so I got a lot of work I need to do in Knoxville today, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it because of the, it's just so wet. Um, I don't know what the weather's calling for this week. I mean, let's take a look at it here. It says today is going to be the high is going to be 47, and the low is 29. Tomorrow, we're supposed to get down to 24, and the next day, we're supposed to get down to 28. So, we're definitely going to have to cover our plants up. Now, it looks like after that, it's going to be Thursday, supposed to be 65 and 46. So, it might be a good day to do something then. We'll have to wait and see. Friday's chance of rain. You see that? Let's see if y'all can see. I, I knew the weather wasn't going to hold this warm weather we had. In fact, early on, I think uh, you might have heard me say uh, we're mulching in the mulch tea in the in the spring teas, and that's what it is because it always gets cold again. But I'm sure would probably by next week it'll probably start clearing up and getting all nice and warm again. So we'll just have to see what the weather does. So I decided, well, I'm going to just go out and see what I can do in the um, the gig work. So I'm doing Uber and DoorDash and Instacart. And I, I did get one this morning. Now, I drive 15 minutes to get back to town. I'm, I'm like 13, 14 miles from where I sit here. But, you know, it's okay. It's something to do. And I'm getting my energy back now. I'm feeling pretty good. And um, I still got the cold and a little bit of sore throat and, you know, coughing a lot. But. I'm feeling a lot better, but I'll show you all what I've gotten so far this morning. Let's... Okay, so I come up here, and I made $9.50, and uh, I could turn my DoorDash on and Uber and make some more money, but it's dark, and right now, around here, the traffic starts to get insane because people's going to work and stuff. So I'm just going to sit here, and if an Instacart comes in, I'll take it. But I really don't want to be out on this road when all this these people are going to work. I mean, it gets really hectic out of here. I went and looked at a job. The lady that I had talked to, she came out and talked to me, and uh, it, she said, are, are you the guy that I talked to on the phone? I said, yes, I am. She said, oh, you're too old. You're way too old. And I said, oh, no, I assure you, I can do the work. But she wouldn't give me a thought because she said I was too old. Now, you know, I know I got a little snow on the roof there a little bit, and my face might be pruning up, but I still have some fire in the furnace. And, uh, you know, it's, I told Mariah, I said, because she's not the first. I've had about three people think I was too old for the work. And so I told Mariah, I said, I don't know, maybe I should dye my hair. Uh, I got to do something to make myself look young. I said, or maybe you're going to have to get out and start talking to these people because they think I'm, they think I'm done for. Yeah, I don't see as quite as good. And I do have a limp. But 
uh, the limp is where I was jogging one day in, um, in the army and I hit a rock or something and I messed my ankle up. Well, the sergeant came up and he seen me laying down in the ditch. He's yelling at me and what in the world I think I was doing. I said, I sprained my ankle really bad. He said, you get up and move or I'm going to break the other one. I was 19. Of course, you know, I wasn't afraid he was going to break the other one. It's just, you know, I knew I had to get up and keep going. And I did. And, you know, after a week or so, the it got a little bit wor- or better. And But now... About 10 years ago, I went to a doctor because I had an injury on my leg. Had nothing to do with the ankle. And he said, hey, does that ankle ever bother you? I said, not really. He said, you've got a really big cyst in there. And now as I get older, y'all might be able to tell on the film a little bit. I limp a little bit. But, you know, I don't let that stop me from my work. And uh, some people might say, well, why don't you get it fixed? Well, the doctor said it's going to be at least six months. I had to stay off that ankle. Six months, maybe a year, he said. Well, who's got, got, who's got enough time to stay off their foot six months to a year? I mean, yeah, if I was working in a big factory and I got hurt, they'd have to pay for it. Workman's comp, but I don't, I can't do that and I don't do that. And my business would go under if I took off like that. So. You know, it's just going to have to wait. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever have six months to a year to where I can stay out my foot because I don't plan on quitting work anytime soon. Anyways, I'm going to sit here and we're going to see what goes on this morning. It doesn't look very promising, but I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get anything done this morning. Anyhow, I'll see y'all later. It is now 645 and... I got an order. $29.20 for five miles. It is for two batches. And I'm okay with that. Um, it's 36 items. There are 44 total items. That means some of them going to be double items. See there? 647 now. Let's see how long it takes us. Well, it's 8 o'clock and I'm on my way to drop these orders off. It took me way longer than it should have. Seems like I've got my energy back. But now, my ankle up to my knee is in a lot of pain. So it's slowing me down. Man, it's one thing right after another. But that's okay. I got it done. Uh, as far as the time limit that Instacart gave me, I was only about six, seven minutes late. But, I mean, I'm just, I'm feeling the pain today. So later on, I guess I'll take me an ibuprofen and see if that'll help me a little bit. Anyhow. I'll show y'all when we get there. I'm on my way. Should be there in about five minutes. I always tell everybody about uh, how long it's going to take for me to be there. And tell them I'm on my way. Because sometimes people are surprised to see their stuff there early. So, anyways. Keep hey. Well, we got that one done. Okay, we're back over here at the Kroger's now. It is 8.36. We're just going to see what comes in. You're more likely, especially if you're in a diamond, and I'm a diamond, you're more likely to get something decent if you're sitting. I think it's within a half mile from the store or something. Okay, I just snagged one. It ain't too bad. 
Let me say it. 30... Seven dollars, one point one miles for forty eight items, fifty eight total units. Well, I don't know how long that took me, but uh, I think it was about forty minutes. It's nine forty. I got done at about nine thirty eight, and I think I started a little bit after nine, so not too bad. Got done before the allotted time. And it's only one half mile drop off, so not too savvy for that one. And Brian, I want to thank you again for the cup. Brian Lowe's Homestead. He's got some cool content. Y'all might enjoy watching him. Real down to earth boy. Do, 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 do. Well, I've got a small pickup here, so I'm going to go ahead and take it. Well, I'm on my way to drop this off. Um, Turn right onto US 321 North. Ordinarily, I wouldn't take one so far out, but it was a, it was only 15 items. So I thought, well, I'll pick them up. It's an easy shop. Quick. And it's still quick shop. It took about oh, 19 minutes. I mean, that, it would have taken less than that if I had, didn't have to substitute some things and look around. But anyhow, so it wasn't too bad. And it was, uh, see, how much was that one? I don't remember how much it was. It's thirty-two dollars, but thirty-one eighty-two. So you might say thirty-two dollars. So not bad, not bad at all. Uh, it is an hour's drive. Well, they give me an hour. I don't think it's going to take no hour. It's um, so oh, let's see what it's it's all four lane all the way out. So I don't think it's going to be that bad. They say it. They they say it's going to take me twenty-five minutes to get out there, and maybe it will. If I obey the speed limit, maybe I will obey the speed limit. So anyhow, it's 11.35 right now, so we'll see how long it takes us. All right, we'll see y'all out in Townsend. Maybe we'll give you a little view. Maybe we'll get a little point of view driving out there, huh? That's Townsend, Tennessee. Beautiful area. Let me turn it around. I'll see if I can record something. Well, 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 that was a very nice fella right there. Not only did he tip $20 on the app, but he gave me an extra five spot. That made this a $37 trip.
Highway. Fletcher, I want to talk to you for a minute. When you go home, what are you going to do? And be nice. You're going to be nice to Gideon and Daddy and Mommy. You're going to be nice to everyone, right? And you're going to be sweet, right? Okay. Why do they have me a yaw? Because you're my my babies. I love you. Well, I went home, took a little break on that. Rye came back to town with me. And uh, she babysat Fletcher today. I did about, this morning before I went home, I did about 130 bucks. And now Mariah said she wants to get out and try to make a little bit. I was going to work today, but it's just so cold, nasty. It's still only 49 degrees. Um, but we do have to go to the railroad tomorrow. Are you prepared for that? I don't care. We got to go do Knoxville tomorrow. Y'all like my haircut? Uh -huh. I gave myself a haircut when I went home. Here's one that's 4.7 miles, $17, and you just pull up and get it. It's an ASAP order. <coughs> How many orders is it? It's two. 4.7 miles. Well, we're here at the Walmart again waiting on another order for Mariah. Gosh, you don't sound... Delighted or anything, do you? And I'm delighted. You're supposed to be, yay, another order. I know a lot of people on YouTube, they do that. They stand there and they scream and stuff. I guess maybe that makes people want to watch them, but it doesn't do anything for me. Doesn't do anything for him. Well, we're going home tonight. We did pretty good. It's uh, 6.49. And uh, between us, we did just about $200. 73 is what I made tonight. Okay, it was a little over $200, by, about maybe 204 And uh, so, you know, that's cool. We're gonna go home because we're gonna go out early in the morning. Well, I got to babysit tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, Mariah has to babysit tomorrow night. So, you know, we just, uh, we we're going to get an early start tomorrow and quit early. So we can both go home and get some much needed rest. Anyhow, um, I, I wanted to rec I wanted to read some of Ian's comments. I guess Mariah will do it cause I'm driving. Because I want to respond to them. I want to respond to your comments. I like that. I like the comments too. Okay, another very cold mowing day. Yeah. All right. So the first one was from Wild Bill. <coughs> Wild Bill. That was very nice of that lady to give you that bill, tool, big old toolbox. I'd rather have weekly yards, especially when they grow so fast. Amen. I really like my customers and hate to see 
to raise the prices, but hey, they got to understand. I only went up uh, $50 or $5 more. Wow, 60% watching and not subscribed. You should subscribe if you're watching. I'm so glad you feel better, Mariah. Thank you. Uh, great video. Yes, uh, for some reason, I do this too. I don't know why. There's this really... I don't know if it's because I don't want to be known to watch this person or not, but some people really think it's dumb to watch mowing videos. I personally like it, but I had another order. I need to shut that off. It's so tempting to push. Take it. No, it's at the other. It's at the Alcoa Walmart oh, for you'll shopping. Ne you'll never get it. It's shopping. Well, if you want to take it, take it. I'll ride you up there, okay? No, it's $23, and it's a lot. Oh, dang, what is it? <laughs> going all the way back up to town for $23. No way. I mean, if it's a $50 one, I'd say go for it, but no way. Uh, well, anyhow, I watch this lady, <laughs> and I don't subscribe. I haven't subscribed to her, so I did subscribe to her because she mentioned that her analytics told her that, like, 30% of people that watch her videos are not subscribed. And so I thought, hey, I'm going to check my analytics, and that's what it said. Uh, Lou Roberts. Lou! I know the sun's in our face. Hold on, let me shut that off. Uh, says, good morning, hope you both are doing well. It's great to watch uh, and do more nice work from Team Ratliff. Very cool. To Who's that? Lou. Lou. Oh, yeah, Lou. Uh, very cool toolbox. We have that edging around. It looks nice around the beds. I might use it. I don't know. Uh, Jay's Crazy Cuts. Says, good seeing y'all out mowing, mowing. Time change tomorrow. Yay. It says 91% of our viewers are not subscribers. 91%. Jay? Are you kidding me? Wow, that's big. Glad you're doing better, Mariah. Make sure you tell everybody to subscribe to you, man. Uh, over 50 says... Wow. And Fantabulous says, Hello, my friends. Respect for all your hard work. Thank you so much. Isn't that Denise? Over 50 Fantabulous. I can't remember. Thank you very much. Exterminator. I still want to come and work with you. I still want you to. Would love to ride with that awesome Gen 3. What's a Gen 3? My, my da Dodge truck. Oh, okay. Well, I have no clue. As long as it has seats and air conditioning. I have huh? a Gen 2 also, you know. And then Big Sun's Lawn Care. Big Sun's. It's showtime again. Showtime. You know, that? I didn't know if you, re you responded to that because of the showtime music that I used on the outset. Um... Jeff's Lawn Landscaping said it's been cold here, too. Oh, man, it's so cold. Right now, it's 43, and the wind is blowing. And then someone asked how many accounts you have, and I did reply, say, what do you mean? And he said, what kind I mean, of mowing accounts? accounts? And he said, mowing accounts. We only have one mowing account. No, it isn't. We have 60 plus. No, one mowing account, like on YouTube. He's talking about YouTube. How many channels? Yeah. That's not accounts, it's channels. Oh, accounts. Okay, so we have about 60 yards right now. <laughs> now, what is it? Accounts or channels? It says mowing accounts. I was just curious. We have so about guys, 63, I think. And we mow mostly bi-weekly, but we prefer to mow Actually, weekly. Actually, over half of ours is weekly right now. Oh, okay. Well, half of ours are weekly and half of ours are bi-weekly. And we're getting rid of the lot of the bi-weeklies. I've gotten rid of several this year already. So, that's that. I just don't want to mow bi-weekly. They're such a pain. The grass gets too high and it just, although we charge, we charge a little bit more, it just, it's just a pain. This is a horrible sunlight video. We're in the sun, like, full force. Yeah. So the cat dug in my morning glory seed, so we gotta go get some more. 
So Mariah's going to run into the Dollar General. And get I'm not some running seeds. anywhere unless there's a murder. Even if there's a murderer behind me, I probably wouldn't run. I'm trying to let me get me. Okay, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate Good night. it. To keep it rolling There's no time to be wasting I'd just rather move it alone 